for California, what he has in mind for Minnesota, what he has in mind for New York, what he has in mind for New Jersey, what he has in mind uh, for Massachusetts, for New England, what he has in mind for Texas, for the South, for the West, for the North, for the East, for the Central, for every area, for, you know, where, what he has in mind. When you discover God's mind, for Philadelphia. Let Lucifer move his bedroom to your house. You will operate. You will increase. And you will succeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. And that's the part that kind of we lose sight of. That God is not supposed to be made to operate under our plan. We are made to operate under his plan. We are made in his image. Not him made in our image. Which is blasphemy, right? Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. So he says, Behold, I set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. No man can shut it. You know, uh, the, the Philadelphia church is a peculiar church. Because there are some things in this church that you can't really ignore. We can't, you know, just pass it over. It's a church, Jesus says, that they have a little strength. It's a church... With very limited number of people. Is a church operating? Maybe, because you know, scholars are kind of wondering this little string, what could he be talking about? You know, is a church that the, the pastor and his family, and maybe one or two visitors, is a church. You have a little strength. The open door is for you. You know, it's a church that, you know, that there are not many people gifted. And the pastor is wondering, you know, when am I going to be manifesting this gift of the Spirit uh, that I can have prophetic discernment like Barnabas, that I can have, you know, the power uh, uh, to discern mysteries of the Scripture like Paul and so on and so forth. No, you, I, he says, I don't, the pastor says, the angel of the church says, I don't have that. And God is saying, I, I know that works. I already know about all that. I know you have a little strength. I know your, num your numbers are small. I know your tight is small. You can't do anything that big money can do. I know about all that. And I know, in fact, you barely, really speak in tongues. But I've set an open door before you. And all you are going to need is to walk through in the name of Jesus Christ. He says, thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word. He says, the Philadelphia church is an obedient church. He says, they have kept my word and uh, has not denied my name. You know, Satan moved there and started persecution. Look at it there. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. We say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. And started dealing with these people. They had critical challenge, but they did not deny his name. We don't have to change the truth. We don't have to modify the message of holiness or purity of heart. We don't have to change anything in order to get people to come. The, the, what is delaying us is a vacillation, where, you know, undulation in our spirituality. Uh, this time we were all ready to go on fire. Go all the way. We believe uh, be, you, that we must be holy. Be holy, for I am holy. We believe all that. And uh, other times, you know, you know, if I don't take uh, my daughter to the prom, you know, I'm not going to get to understand how it works and then be, be able to witness to them. Stop that nonsense, please. You see, if the doctor that prescribes medication to people has to take every medication he gives to people, he will be dead. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Amen? Amen? This one comes with headache. You give, give Tylenol. The other one comes with cancer. You're going to take cancer medicine now? <laughs> Amen? Praise the Lord. And so you, 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 you are the doctor. So you give the proper prescription. You don't go there to go and test the alcohol to see how it makes people dizzy. You don't go there to go try the drugs to see how it confuses and captures the mind of the people. No, you tell them, run from the fire. And you yourself should be running from it so that they can tell there's danger. They can tell. Now, if you went to a house and, uh, on fire and the whole place is smoke and everything, and you're shouting, ah, the house is on fire, everybody, everybody run, everybody run. And you pull a chair and you're eating ice cream. Is that what fire, firefighters do? 
No, that's not what they do. Why? Because it's a serious business. If you, I, I remember one time, the, uh, you know, when you have a family of more than two, somebody's going to fry something and the smoke is all over the house. And then the fire people show up. I mean, I literally had to run to the front of the house so that they don't kick my door broken. <laughs> because they're going to do everything to get inside that house immediately. And even though I got that, said everything is under control. It was just uh, planting to smoke. <laughs> the guy, the guy, he's this big, he's this, you know, Francis sized them. You know, <laughs> it's like this, it's like this. And I'm standing there, I say, sir, everything is under control. He says, sir, get out of the way. <laughs> and then this is serious. I said, but it's my heart. He says, I said, sir, get out of the way. I have to step by. The guy just go like this and went inside. They have to enter every room to make sure there is no fire. That's when there is emergency. And that's what gets the attention of the people. That this thing is serious. If this one is running, if the other one is running, it must be serious. It must be something we need to escape. This is a church with critical challenge. This is a church with serious persecution engineered by Satan. This is a church that God now comes and says, I know thy works. God knows everything about every member of the church. And with this knowledge, he opens the door. With this knowledge, he knows what door you need to open. And you have been here since Thursday, and you've received the master key, I believe all your doors are open already. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But <laughs> before, we, before we continue, let's look at perspective of open door. Because look at what the scripture is telling us here. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength. Isn't it comfortable to know? That God knows all our weaknesses, all our needs, all our incomplete areas, all our areas that we have struggles and battle. That God knows all that. Think about it. And I kept my word in the midst of all that. Even though we are, our membership is small, our finance is small, our strength is small, our gifting is small. In the midst of all that, they obey God. And that tells you how big obedience is in the eyes of God. Uh, uh, and has kept my word and has not denied my name. The persecution Satan unleashed was to force some of them to deny Christ. Was to force some of them to blaspheme against God. They say, why are you telling me to blaspheme against God? Why are you telling me to deny God? Uh, what, isn't it better for you to kill me? You know, <laughs> pastor says, sudden death, sudden glory. You know, uh, so, why don't do that? I'm not going to blaspheme. I'm not going to deny. They kept their stand. Behold, I will make them of this uh, synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. Uh, they do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship. Don't make them talk like that because remember, you have the key now. And you